Uh, I found out I was nominated because I was with my manager uh, just in the street. Uh, we were in the middle of a conversation and uh, we got the phone call. I got out of the shower and Nish Kumar <laughs> rang me while I was still in my town and I answered it and he said, uh, you have been nominated again. And thanks very much, Nish. And then I had to ask him if he had been nominated too and then he said yes. So he's going to keep that a secret until now, I think. But that's how I found out. So I was, uh, yesterday I was in the, uh, the Cafe Royal having a some fish and chips and a, and a, and a lemonade uh, with my girlfriend and my producer and my agent called, they, they called, called told me and, uh, and made the rest of the fish and chips much more exciting, I guess. That's all. That's, that's all that happened, really. Uh, I found out I was nominated in the traditional manner. I received a carrier pigeon uh, direct to my house. But I didn't realise that it was the nomination that was tied around its ankle, so I ate it for breakfast. And then someone called me and said, you got nominated. And I was disappointed that I'd already eaten the pigeon. Good time. Good time. Um, I was in the kitchen at the time, I was making fish cakes and pasta, I'd just been to the shops, I uh, didn't buy any pasta sauce, I forgot, so it was literally just cheese on dry pasta. Uh, the phone went off, it was by a wonderful agent to tell me the good news. Uh, so I was, yeah, I was just in, the, in my kitchen up on Gladstone Terrace, uh, in, uh, just off the meadows, and yeah, that's where I found out, and it was, it was a, a lovely phone call and a, a, great, a great moment to remember. I found out I was nominated when my manager Kevin called me. I came out of a show, I went to see my friend Craig Quatermain, and I came out and uh, Kevin called me and, and seemed to insist that I'd been nominated for the award, which seemed ridiculous. I thought he was playing a prank on me and I thought it was a very mean prank, but uh, it seemed like a real thing. So I said, gosh, thank you very much, and then went and had a salad. I found out um, the information was withheld from me because uh, I was doing an interview by some bins. So uh, there was a guy unloading a load of glass bottles into a recycling bin, and then I saw that I had a missed call from my agent, so I uh, rang her back and we uh, got the news. But, uh, there was a guy with me who knew the whole time, but he was under orders not to tell me, so he just had this little grin on his face, like, oh, I think you might be having a good afternoon. Um, but uh, my agent uh, has the uh, first dips on telling me, so that's how that happened. I was very surprised to find out I was nominated because I didn't even know the judges were in. So I'd just done like a, a compilation show in a, a tent in Assembly Gardens. And I was like, hey everybody, let's go for burgers. And uh, I wanted all the comedians to come. So there was like, I don't know who, the, who else was there, George Lewis, Tom Lucy, and uh, the agents from uh, Off the Curb. And then as we were, they were like, yeah, let's go for food. And as we were walking towards the meadows, we kept losing comics one by one after they would have like private conversations with one of the agents. I was like, that's really weird. And then when we got to the meadows, uh, they took out a bottle of Prosecco out of their uh, bag, uh, some sort of rucksack, and uh, told me that I'd been nominated. And I was really completely surprised. And then we just drank uh, fizzy wine in a field, like a kind of posh version of what I did as a teenager, drinking cans in fields in Tallaght in uh, Dublin. But nobody was more surprised than me, and uh, came as a complete shock, and we just had a little picnic, and uh, that's how I found out.